Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. This week we're going to look at using a JPEG or any other image and applying it to a model as a texture. Some of you have tried that before, but you probably don't know all the tools that exist for manipulating that picture that you apply as a texture. So I'm going to take this model we have of a boat, obviously not a Coast Guard boat, but what I want to do is to apply this type of image, this color swath that's on the bow of a Coast Guard cutter. And I could use an image like this, but what I'm going to do is use an extended image of that with a little more leeway in how I place it and why I'm using that one, you'll see in just a minute. So I'm going to go into my view, go into my appearance galleries, and I'm going to go and hit more appearances. Here I can create my own appearances, and I'll call this, um, I don't know, bow flash, we'll call that. And I'm not going to fool with any of the normal things about color and shine and all that good stuff because I am going to apply a map to it. Now bump and texture are more about rendering and their specific type files, or if you get something to look like mahogany or gold or what have you. But you can also use this one at the bottom, a decal. I'm going to change that to an image, click that little square swath there, and now I'm going to grab that image we just looked at. I say OK to that. And I can go to here, grab it in the appearance library. And I'm going to apply it to that surface on the bow. Now that looks pretty terrible. And a lot of people get this far and go, yeah, that's ridiculous. I, I, I don't like that at all. This is, this is a dumb tool. Now here's where it gets better. So let's go and look at the starboard view of that. So we're looking at this straight on. And I'm going to go to Edit Model Appearances. Click on this little guy, grab that service, and once you do that little eyedropper, now where you go to the properties of how that thing was mapped, you've got this little icon active. If you click on that, that is the decal placement. Now here you've got its default of how it maps that image to the surface is normally parametric. But there are all kinds of other things, planar, cylindrical, spherical, depending on how you want to wrap it. I'm going to go with planar. Hey, things are starting to look better already. Now you can play around with scaling. And the reason I added so much extra stripe and material to that is I can play around with the scaling. I can use the drag handles here. And I can also move this thing around in different ways. I've got some draggers here for position where I can move that forward and back. And there is a reason of why you want to have extra white space. Because if you shrink the image down too much, it wraps and repeats itself. So what we're seeing here is a second image of this. It'll tile it. So let's move that a little bit back. And we can move it up and down and Y. Oh, and we've also got to rotate as well. So by fooling around with these tools, both the mapping, repeat, and, po and position, the number of copies, you can scale it and move it around. And when you're done with that, you've got a much nicer looking image on your model. One thing to keep in mind when you're putting textures like this on a model, if you don't save this appearance under a specific name, when you bring up the model again, it won't know where to find it. But there's a way around that. There's a config option called Save Texture with Model. That way, it'll save that JPEG with the model, and whatever I called the image bow flash, that decal is stored with the model. So I don't have to add it to my permanent appearance library to get it to generate with the model again. So I could send the model to someone else, and they'd be able to see that texture without having my library of appearances. Now, if you've got any questions about this tip or any of the other tips, contact us at EAC, or better yet, leave a comment below the video, and we'll get back to you. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.